Builders, I am Jake Adams coming to you with another video from the Reef Builder Studio and we are very excited to participate in the day one launch of Kessel's brand new flagship light fixture, not to be confused with their myriad of spotlights. This is the all new Kessel AP9X. This is our second LED fixture to date. Let me see if I can remember all the specs for it. It is, I want to say about 180, 190 watts. Um, it's going to be very comparable in general layout to the AP700. We're going to take a quick peek at the box and it is so small. This is one of the things you don't really appreciate it when you first, when you see it in pictures, but like this thing is so small. It, it feels like it's plasticky in some ways just because it's so late, but it's actually made out of metal. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Before we completely dive into the light itself, let's take a look at the tank uh, that it's going to be going on. This is the 75 gallon Euphilia tank here at the studio. It's kind of the unofficial home for not all, but most of the Euphilias here at the Reef Builder Studio. Um, this tank is three feet long, two feet wide, two feet high. It's lit by two AI Prime 16s. Right now it's at that point in its schedule where it's uh, pretty much full intensity and full spectrum using just around 100 watts of power. Most of the corals will look really, really good, but there's a couple corals that could definitely stand to use a little bit more power and intensity. Um, most notably is, you know, the orange hammer corals here in the front looking really, really great. But I have this gold torch coral back here. You can barely tell that it's an Australian gold torch because it's a little bit dim for its liking. And I've got another one up here in the top left on a magnet um, on the back. And you can see that it's, you know, it's yellow, it's happy, healthy, growing, um, but just not looking 24 karat like we would like it to do. A couple other neat corals in here is my uh, branching orange frog spawn. And I actually just recently fragged a few pieces off of that, spread them around. This is a funky indeterminate frog spawn hybrid I got from Vincent Chalius and Chris at AC Aquaculture. It was a tiny little sliver, but you can see that thing has gotten very large. Um, so a mixture of torches, hammers, um, only that one frog spawn, but this thin, thin tentacle and small headed hammer coral is a strain that I've enjoyed in so many tanks for over 20 years. I got that when I was a teenager, like when I was 19. And the one next to it that's kind of variegated, um, little green with a little bit of gray. I've had that for probably like 13 or 15 years. So almost everything in here is euphilia. 
a couple things to spice it up. We've got some green candy and some striped candy, a little red lobophilia, and an orange Pavona Maldivensis there in the middle to really just kind of give some contrast. And uh, the now we know Galaxias are related to Euphilias. This guy is doing really well in this tank. He also has a lot of room to color up a lot more and become gold. So um, like I said, this tank is, is totally rocking with these AI primes, about 100 watts of power. It's just enough to keep the corals really happy, to keep the polyps really extending and expanding, um, but not too much to grow a lot of algae, but I'd like to see just a little bit more uh, performance from my Galaxia and especially my Gold Torch Coral. So one small challenge is the official mount for the Kessel AP9X is a center rear mounted rigid arm. And as you can see, I've got a big overflow box here on the back. So I'm gonna have to get a little bit tricky um, to figure out how to mount this thing uh, just to show it off to you uh, for starters. So uh, give us a minute and we're, we're gonna put that together. I wanna take a couple par measurements um, of the tank right now at full intensity because I uh, these corals, the health and vitality and the vibrance of their colors and the extension of their polyps is really kind of pinching on the lower lighting conditions of the Euphelia Aquarium. So I'm gonna take some PAR measurements right now in a couple spots to see what we're maxing out at so that way when I'm playing with this light um, and start with the initial settings, I make sure not to exceed that too much. So if you look at that, I'm right basically at the peak of lighting for the day, just a few minutes off. Um, what are we at here? Okay, so we're about... 200, 220, right in that corner. Still right about 200 at the top third. This is what I really wanna figure out. 130, this guy's, you know, all kinds of shaded with corals around it. 120, 130. This guy over here in the back. Just, just barely 80 to 90 par. And then just for, just for fun, we'll test it right here in the front, 70 to 80. All right, so I'm gonna mark those down. We're gonna get the uh, AP700 up and uh, get, you know, start playing with the light. Okay, so we have the brand new Kessel AP9X set up on the Euphilia tank. And you know, we had to get a little bit tricky with some gooseneck and mount it to the back overflow here. Um, but it is perfect. It is so perfect for this tank. I'm really, really impressed. One of the things that you can really tell from this tank to this tank is because this one has reflectors and the A360X has a lens to spread things out, um, the, the glitter lines are really much more pronounced in this tank. Some people love them, some people hate them. I can go both ways. I, I like the look of them. Um, so what we did I was able to save some time. So I was able to just grab the programming off of this light, throw it onto this light. So now the Kessel AP9X with the built-in wireless and the Kessel A360X with the dongle are on the same programming. And right now, right now I think I have all the color channels up about the same. I'm just gonna go dance a little bit. Obviously blue is what we're looking for the most. I'm gonna turn down the green. Turn down the red, turn down the violet. The violet is definitely one of my favorite channels. I always kind of gravitated towards that old school Actinico 3 purpliness. Um, so it's something that I really like. And one thing that you know we don't take for granted anymore is the power ratings of certain LED lights. Um, so right now I have all the violets on, all the blues on. So we're getting 163 watts of power just just in the blue channels and it looks really, really good. This is, I think a 90 watt light, this is a 185 watt light. And I know that the AP9X, they were able to um, increase the overall brightness uh, because they use more LEDs. So I wanna cycle you through all the different channels real quick. So this is all the way blue. I'm gonna turn the violet down, 
turn the intensity down. All right, so this is just purple. You can see this is a little bit brighter here in this tank than this one. That's 50 watts just a purple, holy crap. Um, turn the purple down. Then the red channel, got 18 watts of red. Um, still you can see some really strong point sources of light from that reflector. The green is not as green as you would think. Um, we have 20 watts of green. God, uh, I'm actually kind of surprised at how much violet was included in this light. So what else do we want to do? Okay, so the intensity of the blues on by themselves, 160 watts. And then we're going to take it all the way white. I, I, I'm loving the responsiveness. It's actually pretty cool to be able to group this light and this light wirelessly. So now we're at 110 watts at full whiteness possible. Um, so they clearly put a lot more of their eggs in the blue basket, which is, you know, this is what we all want. And all the way back to blue, I'm gonna whiten it up just a little bit, just a little bit, still 100% intensity. So yeah, it's a super cool, fun light. I can already tell it's a lot brighter. I took those power measurements earlier. Um, simply to make sure that when I program this light, I don't overdo it. So I'm sure you can push the par up much higher than what I had before. Do we have the par meter? Yeah, we have the par meter right here. So I'll just take uh, par measurements at, let's say 50% spectrum intensity. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, so here we're about 50%. So you're gonna get best, the best of both white and blue. The par measurements that you get is really gonna depend on your, you know, the height you have the light above the tank here. I probably have a little bit on the high end. So we're getting 250 here, 360 here. This was one spot I was uh, curious about. 120, 130. And this is one of the uh, gold torches I want to brighten up, 167. So we've, we've bumped up in par a lot um, at this particular power setting. So yeah, 220, really getting a lot more light out of this uh, fixture than I was the two previous ones. Um, it's gonna take some time really to feel out this light, figure out the perfect orientation, the perfect settings, the perfect programming. Um, but right now, if you really enjoy you know, a blue heavy spectrum with a lot of purple. I mean, this light is gonna really tick that box for you. So um, really wanna thank Kessel for including us on the launch day, um, I guess, announcement and uh, you know, content creation for the Kessel AP9X. It's a really fun light. The corals are really responding well. Um, they're starting to close up a little bit because it's the end of the day, but um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put those down below. We'll try to get Castle to answer any questions that you might have. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this about beautiful reef tank and exciting reef gear, make sure to subscribe. Thanks again for joining us and we'll catch you on the next video.